Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the best money methods you should all be taking advantage of this week in GTA 5 Online to earn yourself millions and millions of dollars. In total, I'm going to be showing you five different money methods and luckily this week's money methods are very amazing so you should be able to make yourself lots of money this week in GTA 5 Online once you learn these money methods. Anyways, if you want to enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like on it but now let's get into the very first money method. So by far the best money method you could be doing this week in GTA 5 Online is going to be doing the vehicle cargo. If you didn't know, this week in GTA 5 Online, vehicle cargo sell missions are paying out 2 times money and 2 times RP, which is very overpowered, so let's get into it. What you will first need to do is of course enter your CEO office and then sit down at your desk. Once you sit down at your desk, then sign into your computer. And once you sign in, you want to click right here where it says vehicle cargo. Once you click right here where it says vehicle cargo, you of course need to make sure you own a warehouse. Which, if you do not own a warehouse, I recommend you go to the vehicle warehouse map because every single vehicle warehouse this entire week in GTA 5 Online is going to be on 50% off, so definitely buy one this week if you don't own one already. So once you have your vehicle warehouse, now come over here to where it says source vehicle and click it. Once you click it, now click confirm and you will now be put in a source vehicle mission, which are going to be the missions that you do to get your vehicles in your vehicle warehouse. And don't worry, all of these vehicle source missions are very easy to do. As you can see, this one that I'm doing right here, all I have to do is come over to this racetrack, which the car that I'm looking for is in this racetrack. So all I had to do was whip out a gun, shoot the driver out of the car that I had to get, and then get inside the vehicle. And once I stole the vehicle, I now have to deliver this vehicle over to my warehouse. And that's pretty much all you're doing for this business. You're literally going to steal a vehicle and then delivering it back over to your warehouse. Now it's very important to make sure you know that every single car that you get during these vehicle cargo missions is going to be a different level. The lowest level for finding these cars is called standard range, the mid level is called mid range, and the very top level is called top range. And when it comes to selling these vehicles, the only ones you want to sell are the top range vehicles because those get you the most possible money. Also keep in mind, the more that you crash this vehicle and the more that it gets shots up is the more that you're going to be paying for the repair cost. As you can see, I only had a low repair cost, it's only $3,500, which is not that bad and I recommend just paying that repair cost if it's that low. On the other hand, if you have a really high repair cost like this, $23,000, if you want to know a trick to not pay any repair cost, all you need to do is simply hop out of your vehicle, make sure it's right in front of the yellow circle in your warehouse though, and then you want to crash it into the yellow circle with the NPC car. Now all you want to do is get any single weapon that you have and then shoot it as many times as you can until the repair cost goes all the way up to $34,000 just like right here. Once you get the repair cost to $34,000 now what you need to do is shoot it a whole bunch more times until the repair cost shows $0 and the car goes on fire. Once the car goes on fire and the repair cost is $0 you want to immediately get inside the car and then it will now bring you inside the warehouse. But this time you'll notice once you're loading into the warehouse the car is completely invisible and once you load into the warehouse completely you actually paid $0 for the repair cost as you can see I didn't pay any single amount of the money for the repair cost. Now that we went over that now let's go over how to sell your vehicles once you're ready to sell. Now all you need to do is enter your computer inside of your warehouse and you'll see here all of the different vehicles that you have. Of course standard range is the lowest, mid range is the middle and then top range is worth the most money so that's the only one we want to sell. So from here literally select any one of the top range vehicles that you have. You can only deliver one at a time though. You can only deliver multiple if you have multiple people in your CEO as you can see I can only deliver one right now now click right here where it says export and don't click where it says private and don't click where it says showroom what you need to do is click right here where it says specialist dealer this is going to get you the most money when selling it so now click right here where it says confirm all you need to do is pay $40,000 and from here you just need to customize the vehicle as much as you want to and once you finish customizing your vehicle now it's going to put you outside of your warehouse and you now need to deliver it over to a random location which usually isn't too far as you can see my location is only 2.3 miles away. So when it comes to selling the vehicle, you can of course sell this in an invite only session and walk away with $200,000. But if you want to walk away with $300,000 for selling this one vehicle, you need to make sure you sell it in a public session with over 20 people in it. And if you're doing it solo, I honestly just recommend you sell it in a public session because it's really simple and I promise you nobody will bother you. Usually your location is not going to be too far away. And just like I said, not hard at all. I just delivered it in a public session with over 20 people in it and here's how much money I got paid. As you can see, $200,000, but that's not how much I made. As you can see, here's how much I actually made, $300,000. You do need to keep in mind though, you can't do these sell missions all the time back to back. There is going to be a cooldown as you can see, there's like a 15 minute cooldown. 
So right after you do a cell mission, I recommend you go back over to your CO office and then do a couple more source vehicle missions. That way you're killing time by also stacking vehicles in your warehouse, which is honestly just going to make you more money in the long run. And yeah, that is basically the best technique to run the vehicle cargo warehouse business. Make sure you take advantage of it this entire week while it is paying double money and double RP. For the next money method, I'm now going to show you how to make $102,000 in less than two minutes. If you want to do this, all you need to do is come over to this exact location where I'm at right here on the map where this week's regular time trial is located at a pillbox hill. Once you come over here, call out your fastest motorcycle that you own, get on top of it, and then bring it on top of the time trial just like so. Now stay still, but click right D-pad, and now what you need to do is open up your pause menu, go all the way up here to where the checkpoint is at, and mark it. Now drop your pause menu, open up your phone, click where it says job list, and then exit out of the time trial just like I did here. Now whenever you're ready, click right D-pad to start the time trial, and luckily this week's time trial is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is follow the waypoint exactly as it shows you all the way through, making sure you're very careful for incoming traffic. As long as you don't crash though and you make it all the way over to the destination in time, here is exactly how much money you're going to be getting paid. As I said, $102,000 for only 1 minute and 55 seconds of simply driving over to a destination. Very easy to beat, make sure you do it this week. Alright, now getting into the next money method, this is going to be a really good way for you and a friend to make lots of money this week. If you want to do this, all you need to do is simply open up your interaction menu, make sure you're signed up as a CEO, and you want to go over to where it says VIP work in your CEO. Once you go over to your VIP work, you want to start up this VIP work mission right here called Headhunter. If you have never done Headhunter before, it's a really easy mission where you have to go around the map and take out four targets. This should be really fast and easy for you to do, especially if you're doing it in an Oppressor Mark II like I was. And once you finish doing the Headhunter mission, here is exactly how much money you're going to be getting paid. As you can see, $61,000 since it is paying triple money and triple RP this entire week. Now here is how you make this money method super overpowered. What you need to do is simply open up your interaction menu after you complete one of those VIP works. And what you need to do is start up a VIP challenge right after. I recommend starting up the VIP challenge right here called Cashing Out. If you have never done the cashing out challenge, it's a pretty easy challenge to do. All you need to do is go around the entire map where a whole bunch of different money icons are going to be, and those money icons are ATMs. Once you make it over to the ATM, you simply need to hack it, and once you hack it, you'll get a small amount of money. You need to make sure by the end of the challenge though that you have the most possible money because you need to be the winner of this challenge to get this huge amount of money by the end. As you can see, once you are the winner of this challenge, here's how much money you're going to be getting paid, $78,000. And once you complete a VIP challenge, you want to do what we did before. So open up your interaction menu, go over to where it says VIP work, and then start up a headhunter mission. And once you complete it, once again, you'll be getting paid $61,000. And after that, you want to do the same thing over again. Start up a cashing out VIP challenge and keep doing those back to back to back, stacking up your money as much as you can. Now this next money method is only going to be really for beginners, but even if you're not a beginner, you can still make a pretty good amount of money doing this. Yes, I'm talking about the taxi work. This week in GTA 5 Online, taxi work missions are paying 5 times, yes, 5 times money and RP. And as you can see by this first client that I'm picking up right here, the very first client that you start picking up is going to pay you around five to $6,000. But once you drop off a whole bunch of different people and you get to your 10th person, by your 10th person, every single person that you drop off after that is going to pay you anywhere from $9,000 to $11,000 every single drop off. And that's pretty good once you get to that $10,000 mark because dropping people off only takes anywhere from 1 to 2 minutes each, not long at all. And once you decide you're done doing taxi work, you can simply open up your phone, quit the taxi work, and here's how much money I got paid for doing 17 different trips. As you can see, $138,000, which is definitely not bad whatsoever. So if you're a beginner in GTA 5 Online, this is definitely a good money method for you to do. All right, now for the last money method, I'm now going to show you how to make a quarter million dollars in only four minutes. If you want to do this, simply come over to this exact location right here where I'm at on the map, right here at the terminal. Once you come over here, you now need to call out your fastest HSW vehicle that you own and then bring it on top of the HSW time trial. Now click right D-pad, but stay still and open up your pause menu. Once you open up your pause menu, now go all the way over here to where the checkpoint is at and simply mark it. Once you've marked it, drop your pause menu and then open up your phone, click where it says job list and then exit out of the time trial just like I did right here. Now whenever you're ready, click right d-pad to start the HSW time trial and luckily like the time trial, the regular one, it's also really easy for the HSW time trial. All you need to do is follow the waypoint exactly as it shows you on your map. 
Just make sure you're very careful when you come up to the mountains because the mountains can be quite tricky and it can mess you up. So just take your time. But once you get through the mountains, here's exactly how much money you get once you beat the time trial. As I said, $254,000, which is very good for under four minutes of driving over to a destination. Make sure you do it this week. Okay, but like I said, that is going to be the very last money method I'm going to be showing you in today's video. Those are going to be all of the best money methods you should be grinding out this entire week in GTA 5 Online to earn yourself millions and millions of dollars in no time. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like on it if you haven't already. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But that's it for me. Peace.